In this video, we're going to look at the least expensive skates that you can get for inline slalom skating at a really good price, about $100 or less. We're going to start off with the fifth element freestyle skate. Got this about a week ago. I've had a chance to use it in a rink, and it's a pretty solid performer for the price. I paid about $120 on Amazon, and that puts this at about half the price of a Rollerblade Twister 80. So it's not bad. The design is a little bit dated. It kind of looks like the first generation of slalom skates, like the Twister 80. Um, a little bit on the bulky side when we compare it to a different boot we're going to be looking at soon. I ordered this in a men's size 9 and found that the sizes are pretty true. I think I could have gone a size less and maybe it would have fit a little bit better for the rigors of slalom skating. When you're buying a slalom skate, you want the tightest fit you can get. I don't mean that it shouldn't fit you. It needs to fit you from heel to toe properly. Your toe shouldn't be crammed into the front of the skate, but it should be close. And the fit around the foot is really important. I find that with these older boot styles, the boot itself tends to be so big that it just by design allows the foot to move too much inside uh, for, for the slalom skating precision that we need. Um, so these are a little bit on the sloppier side, but if you're going to use these for street skating, at the skate park, casual skating, they'd be great for that. They're probably just as well for freestyle slalom, and that's what I bought them for. I just found within my size, they were a little bit on the loose side. I don't think that the boot and the cuff were quite right for me, so I'm going to talk in the next video about a different skate that I got, even cheaper, that I think is even better than this. So at about $120, what are you getting? You're getting an ABS boot uh, with an ABS plastic cuff, a decent padded liner, an aluminum frame for the wheels, a rockered frame, which means that um, you can put all the same size wheels on and they're still going to be rockered. And if you're not sure what rockering is, that's basically a configuration of the wheels so that at any given time, only two wheels touch the ground. This is really important for slalom skating because you need that precision of angle that you get with a rockered setup. Now there are two ways to get a rockered setup. One way is for the frame to actually, actually be rockered. And what that means is the holes where the wheels are attached are offset somewhat, with the middle ones being closer to the ground than the ones on the ends. So no matter what size wheels I put on here, as long as they're the same diameter, I'll have a rockered setup. And that kind of looks like that. Now another way to do it, if the frame is straight, is to use wheels of different sizes with the larger wheels in the middle and then the smaller wheels on the outside. Now in the next video, I'm going to be looking at a different skate, the Roselle skate, which is set up just that way. As far as the design, the fifth element seems a little bit outdated, but I think it's rugged enough for the first time skater, especially if you're not sure you want to spend 250 or more on skates. It's definitely a quality design. Like I said, for my uses, I feel like it's a little on the loose side. Maybe if they had a half size smaller, I'm not sure they even have half sizes. But I just feel like this would be a comfortable skate for a really long street skate. But it's not what I'm looking for for slalom skating. I just don't feel like it had the support that I need to do precision footwork. But if you're looking for something to hit a trail, uh, street skating, urban skating, for the price, you can't beat this. Uh, it's not bad at all. Straps are very rugged. I think it would last a pretty good long time and it's definitely worth $120. But for slalom skating, in my experience, I tried a different skate and it blew me away. So maybe good for you. Um, a little bit more on the comfortable side, a little more wiggle room on the inside for comfort, but not my favorite for slalom skating. Definitely worth $120 if that's what you're looking for. But if it comes to wanting a cheap slalom skate, we can do better under $100 on Amazon, and that's going to be the Roselle skate, which is going to be my next video.